And we're back with more AGDQ 2015. And again, next is Infested Rouge with Power Blade, followed by Snake Rattle and Roll by PJ and Feasel. A couple more donations, uh, $25 from Commodore C64. Go, 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 TMR and DK28. Keep up the good work and thanks for the stream. We have $10 from Mr. K14. Good luck, DK and Team MR. Sorry I couldn't make it this year, but just remember that if you don't get the Stage 4 boss glitch, you can always save time with the Leap of Faith. $10 from Robert M. I have an exam today, but that won't stop me from watching and keeping up on all the awesome work. Thanks. One of our amazing sponsors for AGDQ 2015 is Something Artistic. Somethingartistic.net offers decals and stickers made to decorate your consoles, walls, computers, and more. $2 from every decal sold this week is being donated directly to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. You can find all their decals, including some designed just for AGDQ, over at decal.ly. Another awesome sponsor of AGDQ 2015 is Tiny Build. Tiny Build Games is an indie developer morphed into an indie publisher. They partner up with indies across the world to help better their games as well as develop games themselves. Check them out at www.tinybuild.com and check out their game speedrunners available in the AGDQ 2015 Humble Bundle. Okay, count on Free. Two, one, go. Thanks. All right, this is uh, one of my favorite platformers here. I'm um, I'm gonna kill some enemies in a certain order to get some drops and upgrades, and especially the grenade in this game, which uh, I can use a grenade glitch in with. I mean. I'm getting like more boomerangs and uh, better range on my attacks, stuff like that. There's a contact person that will give me a key card so I can uh, uh, open up the boss door at the end of the stage. I'm gonna do a little shortcut over here and jump over to that ladder, which is not intended. Okay, I'm using my first grenade. Kills everything on the screen. Another shortcut here. And uh, you can't drop down from the screen, you need to climb down the whole way, otherwise you die. So I'm gonna try to do some... Uh, like I'm gonna try to let go of the ladder and re-grab it uh, as uh, late as I can at some parts. Oh. Uh, yeah. Weird. When you fall from a great height in this game, he'll do that like weird kneeling animation. So you'll notice that I'll throw like a boomerang. Um, yeah, when I fall from great heights to uh, re kill that animation. Save uh, some small time. And here I'm doing a thing we call grenade glitch. It will insta kill the boss. <laughs> uh, how it works is uh, before the boss fight starts, he, the boss starts with 1 HP and it's supposed to refill to max before the fight starts, but I buffer a grenade going in there and uh, the, the grenade deals 1 damage, so it puts him to 0 and kills him. And it works in like, on like 4 of the bosses in the game. Because some, some bosses are immune to grenades, that's why it doesn't work. Uh, 
One of the main reasons why I started speedrunning this game is because of the awesome soundtrack. Like, one of the best that I've heard for NES. Oh, that's a task boomerang, actually. <laughs> um, what I did, I killed the bubble to, yeah, to not take damage from him. And when you beat the stage, your life will reach to max before you, yeah, advance to the next uh, area. So it saves like a couple of frames to have as much life as you can at the end of the stage. And later on in the stage you will see the reason why I play on normal and not on hard. Like, there's no difficult differences really uh, between them. It's, uh, th the difference is that in hard, you, when you take damage, you get a lot of slight knockbacks. And there's a section coming up in this stage that would be horrendous if we played it on hard. <laughs> That's one of the ris risky ladder regrabs I talked about. And yeah, this is the section that would be yeah, terrible in hard, like you would get knocked back and yeah, slow you down a lot. There's a weird wall, you can just jump through it. <laughs> and, uh, this is the hardest boss in the game. If you play him, that is. <laughs> um, there's like a really a, a dragon boss that's, yeah. Most blind players of this game that I've seen like get stuck on that boss and yeah, it's pretty bad. I need that kill on that frog, that's um, In order to get the kill, like, the explode animation needs to go away before you get, like, the count for the kill. And if I didn't kill that frog, my um, item dro drops route would be kind of messed up, so... Yeah, had to wait slightly there. Funny thing as well, how the contact persons look like exactly like you do. <laughs> You can read some donations if you want. Oops. Coming up here is the first boss that I will face, and unfortunately it's a lot of RNG dependent. You need to kill these hatches when they open up, and uh, yeah, you can only do damage to them when they're open. And it's random how he opens the hatches. This is awful RNG actually. <laughs> Could be a lot worse, but yeah, probably lost like at least five seconds compared to like a decent normal attempt. <laughs> uh, coming up now is the hardest stage in the game in my opinion. It's, uh, it will introduce uh, some wall clipping which is really scary and if things go bad I might die.
Okay, decent. Um, how that works is I can't jump up to that platform with my normal jump, so I do like a clip through the, I think it's like a pixel or two. I'm not sure how big the margin is, but it's either one or two pixels. It, it's different from uh, some of the wall clips actually, but uh, yeah, I need, to, I need to hit that position and uh, like get a boost around the corner, which allows me to jump up there. Otherwise I have to go around and like waste 15 seconds with the normal routes. Coming up here is the Power Blade Armor, hence the name of the game. Oh, no. If you're really fast, you can make it past that little circling thing without taking damage. And yeah, this armor is extremely powerful. Your shots go through terrain, and um, yeah, it deals a lot of damage. And now you see I have the three dots in the top right corner. It stands for my health on the armor. So. I'm not taking like normal damage on my health bar now. Instead, when I take three hits, I lose the armor and revert back to normal. But I'm gonna try to keep the armor for the rest of the run. Another clip here. Oh, decent. One kill short, that's my grenade. Here's the scariest part in the run. Oof, that was insanely close. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, once you get past that, I feel like the run is, uh, yeah. Uh, that if, I, if I die during that platforming section, I lose two minutes, so that's huge. <laughs> and I lose the armor as well. You can do that uh, platform section without stopping once, but uh, yeah, I had such bad luck during like live marathons that I, a weird thing that can happen is that you land on the platform, but you clip through it and fall down and die. And yeah, I rather like threw away like three or four seconds saving it up. Also to remember, all subscriptions to games done quick, 100% of them go to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. This is one of the easiest stages in the game, but it ends with... Uh, let's see here if I... Okay. Um, I'm gonna clip up to that boss door. Uh, and it saves like... I think it's one minute or 90 seconds or something. And this is one of the harder clips in the game. like decent for marathon I guess <laughs> and yeah in my record run in this game I nailed like I nailed every clip in the game first try except for the last one in the game which is the hardest one I'm not sure if it's pixel perfect or sub pixel but it feels like yeah really damn tight <laughs> hopefully we get it good this time
Here's the first female contact person, and, and the only one. <laughs> If I want to, I could do a save strat here and collect another armor to get one more hit on, on the arm, but screw that. Here's the hardest, hardest clip in the game, and I got it first try. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, that's the clip I talked about. In my record run, I got it like third try, and besides that, my run is pretty damn perfect. <laughs> but first try, that, that was insane. <laughs> Couldn't ask for more. Try some clips here as well, nice. And this one as well. Oh, nice. And yeah, simple boss. <laughs> it does the same thing every time, so really simple. Um, if you have a few donations, you could put in one or two, I guess, there. We don't have any donations currently right now, but I wanted to know, have you um, ever speedrun uh, Power Blade 2? And if so, what are the differences between Power Blade 1 and Power Blade 2? Uh, what the differences are? Um, yeah, the sequel to this game is like, I don't know if they were like uh, influenced by Mega Man, but they added that Noel, the main character, can do a slide and get some kind of power-ups with suits and it, yeah, completely different game, but also a really good game, but I, li I like this one better. And yeah, this this soundtrack is amazing. What do you particularly like about this game, comparatively? Uh, sorry? What do you like about this game, or the Power Blade 2? Uh, the music uh, was the one thing that got me hooked right away, and like, how it looks and how it plays, like everything about it is one of my absolute favorite games to play. Okay, also we have $10 from Andrew AJT. This is my fourth GDQ. I'm watching live and I just can't get enough. Keep up the good work. So you're past the most tense point of the run when we saw the platforming earlier. Is there anything else that you're worried about for the last segment of this run? Um, not really. I, I could get trolled by the last boss, but... Uh Normally when I get here I have only one one hit left in the armor and if you get bad RNG on the last boss he can troll you and like remove your armor uh, and uh, that will slow down the fight but nothing that could, well, one last thing here that could be a disaster, this platform right here, sometimes you just fall through it on the left side and yeah, you start at the beginning of the stage and lose two minutes. Wow, that definitely looked very Mega Man-esque, those platforms. Oops. Uh, this boss has two faces, by the way. Okay, last face, I get rid of the timer. And he will do like some fire attacks that will rain down from the ceiling and that's if you only have one hit on the armor, it can troll you. This, this is a good pattern. Well, it doesn't matter because I have two hits, so I can just tank it. So it's like five or six more seconds, then it's right about time. <laughs> I'm
I'm guessing like a 1750 maybe or... <laughs> oh, okay, nice. So, sub 18 is like my goal for no respawn, so I'm definitely happy with that. Yeah, thanks for having me. Very nice round, Ration. Let's give him one more round of applause, guys. That was a great run. Okay, we have a $15 donation from Doritos and says, Clipping Hype, cheers for the good run. Absolutely. So, coming up next, we have Snake Rattle and Roll from PJ and Feasel, also uh, known as uh, Sunday Sequence Break Host. So, definitely a lot of hype for this run. And with that, uh, we're going to cut to a commercial. We'll be right back. <laughs> 